Hi fellow Kitsunis, my name is Kitsu. I have been using this program called um, BUP, or is it uh, BUP? Uh, BUP? Uh, you know, I'm just gonna say BUP. <laughs> BUP might just be the best free B2 program out there. Um, ever since I got my first computer camera, I got curious in what else I could do with other programs and Bob is one that got the most of my attention so far. So I decided to start a tutorial about this. Okay, so to begin this, um, you need Steam. So, you know, click Steam right here and then you go to store, search for Bob and download it. And then you click launch right here. Okay, and then you're greeted with this right here. Um, there's also a 2D mode login. You can create your own account if you like but I'm gonna go with a Steam login. 3D mode, I don't know how to use 2D yet, so 3D is my main thing right here, right now. Okay, so I already got my own scene right here with OBS. So you know, you're, you're shown the display right here, but I'm gonna move this to the second monitor. You don't need to see it because you already see me on the bottom, the bottom left corner right now. I'm gonna drag this up here so you can have a better look at it. And you know, when you first start this, this character will actually um, guide you through the steps on how to um, do this, how to use this program. And you are greeted with a lot of characters that you can use here, even Monica and Astolfo. <laughs> so you know, you can choose any of these characters, they're all free to use. You can actually do live streams, become a VTuber right now immediately with just these characters. It can take a while to load the character as well. So you know, you got that right there, and um, just to let you know, um, there's also like facial expressions, but not all facial expressions might be available for the characters, because the main character right here is already equipped with everything. So she already comes with animations, and also expressions, and all that stuff. And you know, to turn it on, you go to broadcast, turn on your camera right here, and then your character is going to start copying your facial expressions. Everything you do, the, char the character will actually copy. <laughs> so yeah, your this character comes with everything. It all comes with emojis right here, so you know all these emojis only work for the main character. So if I were to bring in myself in here, you know, um, and I go with the emojis, they will not work. So if I go to like um, these emojis are not gonna work. So you gotta create your own emojis. Like I already got my smiley face, I got my sad face, my neutral face. So if you wanna get you know not have expressions, go back to neutral, you gotta create an uh, emoji for it. You also got your actions right here, so you know, all characters have like, this works for all characters, all these actions, all your characters can do, no matter what you import, every character is gonna do these expressions right here. These actions right here are all performable by every single character. <laughs> but, you know, they all seem to be like all for the girl, so not much for guy YouTubers. <laughs> Female YouTubers are like the trending thing right now. Ayo, hey, what's up? I'm cool. Are you cool? <laughs> so, yeah, you also got props right here. You also got like a large variety of props to choose from. So, you know, you got glasses, you got this right here, microphone, you got gaming chairs. Like, there's like a lot to do. You can even add your own props, but I don't know how to do it at the moment because they need to be a uh, BOP file. I'm not sure how that works. So, you know, you can also adjust. So, you can see the microphone right there. It's not right where it needs to be. So you can choose the microphone right here. You got offset, rotation, scale. So you know you can choose, you can just click this right here, go to your display. This will appear right now and then you know, you can see the microphone is moving. So you know, you can place it right there, just adjust it really well on your hand, make it look like it's really part of you. You also got like rotations too, so you know, I'm gonna rotate it. Even though it's appearing in the wrong place, you know, you get what I'm, you get what I'm saying here. <laughs> so you can adjust it. And then to go back, you go to um, so you go to set defaults, set defaults, and then there you go. There you get no props. You also got poses too, so you know this one is the familiar one. <laughs> That's the one I use for my thumbnail for teeth. And then it's also the props, Captain Falcon <laughs> thumbnail. So you know, yeah, I created all these poses myself, and then this is your standard pose. Um, but these poses are for the main girl characters, you know, they will not work for other characters because, you know, ah, oh, it's so painful. Uh, it's so painful to see that. I don't know how I'm able to do that stuff. Yeah, 
So to you add your own posts, you can add your own posts. Um, you can import it from somewhere else. If you can import it from somewhere else, but it has to be a bot file. So you know, you click right here where you wanna edit. Then you know, you just rotate them. You see right there, moving my arm. You can move my hand. You know, just create your own pose right here, just like that. You see, <laughs> it's actually pretty neat. And then you can save it, but I'm not gonna save it. <laughs> and confirm. Next, you got your broadcast right here. So, you know, turn on the camera. You got this little head right here that's gonna copy your every single movement. So, you know, happy face. <laughs> Open the mouth face. Mad face. It has trouble, it has trouble with a mad face, so I'm not sure. The mad face is a bit weird sometimes. So, it thinks I'm making a shock face. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, you got your edits right here, kind of like BC face, you know, smoothness of body, head rotation. And then, you know, this how smooth your eyes, your mouth, and your cheeks are going to move as well. There's like those kinds of edits too. You can also reset your camera back to the standard one. So you reset everything here. You also got body capture. Um, body capture, I cannot show off because I don't have any of these things. But, you know, detects, you know, late motion, you know, even the Kinect from the Xbox will actually work with this. Which is pretty neat. You also got your broadcast right here, you got virtual camera, I had no idea what it does. I tried messing with it, but nothing has happened so far. You also got your transparent, so you know, transparent, you know, everything is transparent right now. You also got pendant right here, which will make your character appear on the monitor, on the desktop. You also got sound cap, which will sacrifice this. So you know, I'm opening my mouth, it's mouth animations that your camera is um, copying. But when you put sound cap, your character will actually not copy your mouth movements anymore, but the sounds that you are making. Pretty much like when you're talking right now. Like I'm talking and the character is moving the mouth. But I cannot move my mouth open because it will not like, you know. So you're sacrificing mouth animations for talking animation. <laughs> you also got look at camera, you got auto wings, you know, you don't truly need a camera to be a virtual YouTuber in this program. So, you know, you can just go about this without a camera. You also got gift, gift interaction, which is pretty neat if it worked with Twitch, but it doesn't. It works with Billy Billy, which is a YouTube program made by China. But, you know, it would be cool to have like a lot of french fries rain down on me. Ah, I cannot even get one in my mouth. Then you got two, three, three. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I you know, you got clear. Just do that. <laughs> It looks pretty fun. Would be cool if it was with Twitch. Then you got your plan right here. So everything you edit right here, you can add a plan to save everything that you just changed here. And you can just make a shortcut to it. This is just a green screen. <laughs> then you got your shortcuts right here. So now I got shortcuts for my smiley face and neutral face. You just press these two letters right there. Okay, and then you got your scenes right here, which is the a pretty neat one right here, you know. You got your apart. Uh, you got like an apartment right here. It's pretty neat. You got like two apartments. This is the main one that I use for the end of my videos. So yeah, and another great thing about this is that you click your display. Once you click your display, press the arrow keys, and your character starts walking. You can also press the space bar to jump. I had no idea I jumped that high. <laughs> And then if you press the shift key, arrow keys, you start running. And you can defy the loss of physics by passing through a wall. Don't worry. Even though I may have fallen off the off into the unknown abyss, I have instant transmission. <laughs> I can just teleport back here. You also got 2D, 2D um, scenes as well. There's a 2D scene. You can even move your camera around by doing right click, no left click to move around and right click to rotate your character around because this is a 2D scene, your character will rotate. But if this was a 3D scene, the scene will actually rotate instead. But yeah, this is a 2D scene, so you know, not much you can do, but you know, your character can still walk around and you know, it's gonna go outside and you know, it becomes so tiny, like it's just so weird. <laughs> Becoming like a tiny speck in this background, you know. Hey, look, I'm over here. I'm an action figure. I'm alive. I'm an, I'm a living action figure in this apartment. <laughs> it's, it's 
so yeah there's like a lot of backgrounds to choose from so many backgrounds let me just face this way here and um, another thing is that there's also huge scenes as well like this one right here and some of the scenes also have music so you can become like a virtual pop star if you like there are some actions that make your character dance so you can pretty much make yourself an idol p tour idol but you know this scene is really huge and it's actually pretty beautiful you know just taking the scene over here okay enough about that now so you know there's like a lot of scenes here you know you can choose a lot of them there's like some of them are also 3d scenes you know like the artist room that I got right here you can also add your own scenes here too you also got your green screen too and also blue screen so you know you got like a lot of scenes you can you can also add your own scene but again it has to be a bot file which I have no idea how it works yet there's also a real real scene but you need a second camera. I don't have a second camera, so I cannot show my face, <laughs> my real environment. There's also light settings, so you can, you know, mess with the lights here and there, you know, do that. You know, you can also do a depth of field right here, you know, vocal depth, you know. Oh, it's going to be damaging to your eyes. <laughs> There's also the ambient light right here, so you know, I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm in a horror movie. And like, I'll take your souls. pretty fun so yeah it's pretty good you can also mess up with the bloom and all that stuff you know it's pretty neat <laughs> so yeah you got like a lot of things you can edit here you know bloom intensity you know, and that stuff um, fast located I still have no idea how to use this right here <laughs> I haven't messed with it there's also the playroom and this looks like so much fun because you can actually invite up to eight people into this scene so I'm, I actually want to try this with somebody someday so it looks really really fun Next, you got your camera here. So I got this scene right here to better show off the camera. Um, so you know, you press play right here and you'll see an example of what this camera does. And then you click apply and then you see the scene taking effect on your display. So you know, show an example here. You can, you can even still move around while the scene is playing here. You can also follow your own character here too. But if you're using your own character, these are made for the girl. So I had to create my own camera here and you know the camera actually follows your character but um the, th the thing that's like not good is that it doesn't follow like in the video game you know it's not gonna rotate to the back of your character so you know it's just gonna follow the body of the character everywhere it's not gonna rotate the scene or anything and then you also got your can transitions so yeah it's like pretty good this program has like so much that it looks like to be like the best program for virtual YouTubing so far and it's free so that's it for this tutorial uh, feel free to leave a comment down below if this was helpful to you and if you'd like to know more Bob has really been really fun to use here and I pretty much feel like I'm gonna continue to use this program a lot more in the future I really enjoy learning more about VTubing and how I can make it more fun with my art skills if you enjoyed this video be sure to poke that like and subscribe button share with your friends feel free to follow me in my other social media and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care of yourselves, guys. See you later.